2021 has already been a great year for Sony's new kid on the block, the PlayStation 5, and Sony is playing all the right cards. It's smart power move that gives the public the perception that PlayStation 5 is the home of Marvel, the highest quality games coming in 2022 and beyond. This is Fox Eastwood, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, so in today's video we'll be going over some a couple of pretty juicy rumors while bearing in mind that they are just rumors at this point. In the background you'll notice that I'm playing early segments, pretty much spoiler free, of the awesome Kena Bridge of Spirits, a game that is really garnering some extremely positive reviews, with some even calling it PlayStation's Zelda experience. Now in a time when a lot of people have voiced concern over $70 games that take up 100 gigabyte of SSD space, well I'm pleased to see a high quality game like Kana costing just 32 great British pounds on PS5. Those who have played Kana will no doubt agree this is incredible value for money and only takes up 17 gigabyte of SSD space. Some of the reviews that are in at the time of this video edit, Kana Bridge of Spirits currently sits on an 85 Metacritic score. Jewel Shockers gave it a 10, Game Spew gave it a 10, GameSpot gave it a 9, Game Informer 9, Digital Trends 4.5 out of 5, Screen Rant 4.5 out of 5, The Gamer 4 out of 5, IGN 8, Destructoid 8, Press Start 8, and those are just a few examples there. Now, I would describe Kana as a combination of Zelda slash Metroidvania, third person action slash platforming slash puzzling in a sandbox slash open world. A lot of slashes with adorable characters and bosses that pack a real challenge, and I mean real challenge. It's a real thing of beauty as well, particularly with HDR enabled and at 60 FPS rendered in dynamic 4K. Currently available as digital only, but a physical release is expected in November. Now developer Ember Labs really did a sterling job with Kane and Bridge of Spirits in my opinion. It's really worth every penny. I cannot recommend it enough. So let's talk about a couple of these interesting rumors then. So rumor has it, well not so much a rumor but the rumor part comes a bit later. God of War 2018 director Crawley Barlog isn't really involved in God of War Ragnarok project from a directorial, you know, standpoint set to really be the final chapter in the Norse mythology series though Barlog hinted during a recent PlayStation livestream that he is working on something. This has led to a ton of speculation that Corey Barlog is working on a rumored sci-fi epic exclusively for PlayStation 5 but we still have little to go on that front. But what if the next God of War series is set in ancient Egypt, a location Barlog hoped would be the setting for God of War 2018, but instead went along with the Norse mythology setting, which worked out pretty well for everybody involved, I think you'll agree, right? Though more importantly, is God of War 2018 director Corey Barlog already secretly working on the new God of War series exclusively for PS5 since he's not directing Ragnarok? The God of War was wildly successful on PS4 to you know, change directors for the sequel says a lot. Something big is definitely happening at Santa Monica Studios with multiple projects in the works. Safe to say PS5's first year lineup has been a healthy dose of diverse, high quality and multi-genre releases. Not everything will be a cup of tea admittedly though, I honestly cannot think of a single bad PlayStation exclusive that released since PS5 launched, and that's pretty incredible as first years go. And my my my, Johnny Gill has Sony Interactive Entertainment been busy this year. Courtesy of Hunter at Next Gen Gamer, Sony purchased Insomniac Games, Housemark, Nixes, Fire Sprite, Evo with a joint venture, and Crunchyroll. And Sony made investments in Discord, Epic Games, Katakawa, that's from Software, and Billy Billy. Sony has fully funded Haven Studios, Deviation Games, and Firewalk Studios. Like I said at the start of this video, the PS5 generation is going to be easily surpassing PS4 in terms of churning out AAA bangers. We're going to look back at this first year as a simple starter course from a five star menu. February 2022 onward is going to be an absolutely amazing time for PlayStation 5 gamers. 
And it seems like those GTA rumors just won't go away. Here's another rumor. The highly anticipated Grand Theft Auto 6 game could span multiple timelines. As an example, 1980s, the 1990s, the 2000s and so forth. Rumor has it GTA 6 is also set to feature multiple locations, possibly North and Central America and Latin America and stuff. And Grand Theft Auto 6 is rumored to also allow gamers to play as male and female in the campaign mode for the first time in Grand Theft Auto history. Now bear in mind this is all in rumor territory, just like Sony's involvement slash partnership regarding future Grand Theft Auto titles until Rockstar or Sony make it official. But not so much a rumor, but Nice to hear nevertheless, gamers in the UK will be paying the equivalent of a dodgy doner kebab, which is just five pounds to upgrade their PS4 copy of Death Stranding to the upgraded version, Death Stranding Director's Cut on the PS5 this Friday. Not bad, huh? Now I'm seeing a few diehard gamers from other platforms publicly declaring they're choosing PS5 going forward. And it's largely due to the perception that PlayStation is the home of Marvel. Spider-Man, Wolverine, and partnerships with multi-platform Marvel game releases, I think a lot of those more vocal die-hard fans are starting to see the writing on the wall. That's not to say other platforms won't have their own high-quality exclusives, but as R&B star Chris Brown said, these hoes ain't loyal. Look, all joking aside, when it comes to consoles, don't pick sides, pick quality. Though what say you? I'm going to leave you with some awesome Kana gameplay, but go ahead, sound off in the meantime, share your thoughts and opinions on today's news, because that unfortunately brings us to the end of the video, but let's continue the discussion cordially in the comments. And for all your gaming news, rumor, and plausible speculation, hit the like button, yes, subscribe, and yes, hit that notification bell, and stay informed. Help us reach more gamers, so feel free to share the video and consider supporting Foxy Games UK via Patreon. You'll find a link in the video description. Thank you for the extra support. That concludes our time together on this Wednesday. Thanks for hanging out. Until the next time, play games, not corporations. Stay here, spirit. You must move on. You are the one who does not belong. I will never abandon my people.
You can come out. It's safe now. Look, Sire, she cleared away the poison. The little guys can eat it. <laughs> They love it. <laughs> My name's Kana. What are you two doing out here, alone in the forest? Don't worry about us. We've been here a long time and take care of ourselves. I can see that. You both look very strong. Do you know who that spirit was, with the horned mask? We don't know, but when he shows up, the gross poison grows stronger. Hey, what are you doing here in the forest? I'm searching for the sacred mountain shrine. Can you take me there? 